got the young crew over here. It's fast. So fast. Okay, Adam, good job. That's pretty clean. So we're here with the whole crew and we're gonna try to fire this thing up for the very first time ever. We're gonna put a fuel in this thing first time ever and we gonna check the spark. We're gonna check the spark uh, before we're gonna add fuel. And then uh, we we'll add fuel, take the tape off, so let it breathe. Actually, we still need to add some water in here. I'll go get water. Which we should have some water. Uh, we do have oil. We'll just double check, make sure the oil is good. And we're going to crank it up and see how it goes. Okay. Excited. It's been a long time coming, but the time is now. So let's get to it. Papa, huh? you're maybe going to drop Adam on this? Not today, no. I don't think so. This time might not be ready. No, this is like... So we're gonna try to fire it up. So let's do oil check. What? Do you see the drifting up? That's when you can just check. Wait, I don't know. It says add, but right now the car is tilted this way, so a lot of oil is in the back of the motor. Hopefully the batteries still have some juice in it and hopefully it will crank because I did crank it without spark plugs and it was easier because there is no compression it builds up. Actually I did build it, cranked it with the uh, spark plugs in so it should be good. And it should be enough. Put this back over there, Andrew, please. Okay. Thank you. Right, who's gonna start it? We gotta add yeah, water. So, yeah, we gotta add water. I still need an overflow tank. But that's for later. I also have to connect the power steering and put some power steering in it because I don't want to crank it dry. Pretty sure it's enough. Maybe the oil didn't set all the other way. So, time. the time has come. It's done. Let's take it up. 99.53, whatever that is. I'm going to take this back on now the head. Um, so, this is how I routed my power steering cord. That goes. Why is it so small? But. One line goes straight in there. Right. Yeah, one line goes straight in there, the other one goes back in here. I need a heat gun or something. Or I need oil. Stealing some oil out of dipstick to lubricate this to make this easier to slip on this fitting because it's super tight. But then it can also pop off easier. So. Okay. Doesn't want to go in. 
super stiff. You can cut it. All the way. Yes. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, it's opening. We have power. We have power. Yes. Da. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. And, um, Are we? Do we have to fill up the water or no? Right now, for the startup. I'm just gonna crank see if there's a spark. Ah. If it's throwing spark, I'm gonna. Hey, somebody come here. And... Getting there. Oh, I'm just gonna throw some sparks. <laughs> Flip that red switch up. This one? Yep. And then uh, flip it up. There is a switch actually. Boom. And then the next uh, first blue one, mm -hmm. same thing, you open it, flip it up. Okay, that's it. ignition on. And uh, when I'm gonna ask you, you're gonna have to push that red button. That's the start button. But hold this whole thing in your hand so it doesn't wobble. Okay. okay? That's okay, let's go over there. Can you zoom up a little bit? This is it now. That's fully, oh, okay. now it's fully zoomed up. Um, so hopefully I don't get zapped. And let's see now. Okay, Andrew, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't have a spark. Oh, you know why? Why? I think I didn't put all the fuses in. Uh, no. Turn the ignition off for now. Hey, hey, just close the thing. Just close the. Yep. Boom. See how it works? <laughs> Hold on. Step away. Give me one, guys. Um, let me look at my diagram. I forgot how I wired it, but. Let me refresh my memory. Yeah. Working yet, but basically. Yeah. Ah, I'm find out. Don't play with it. Okay. Oh, so what is this gonna be? The deal? Shift it. Shift it. Put it in the e bike somewhere. The book's gonna be right here, but he's gonna have to hold it to be a bit more of a shelf because it's gonna be right in front of the house still here. And they are powered. Okay, so if this is gets powered, this is gets powered, and maybe that one as well. Hold on. Here, Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this very last one is not connected to anything so i have i have um okay performance test out and before start up You're gonna be the cameraman? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I have no idea how to do this stuff and if it's gonna even happen, I might have to go see Mike. Hmm. Why everything is disabled? I think I have all the fuses unless something was popped. What's not working? 
on me. Yeah, everything connected the way it should be, as far as I understand. And everything connected is in here. Unless there is something else on this view that I haven't done yet. Is it because they didn't ground this side? So I have power coming to this and then power is going out of that. So that's power side. So power gets there, power gets there. This is battery vaults dropped inside from its yeah. banking area. It's okay. Um, that's okay. So we just went through this whole procedure, reading the instructions, and we went through a lot of screens on this little um, handheld device, and I think we are finally ready to start. We set all the perimeters, the minimum required to enter into the computer information, what kind of motor, what displacement, and whatever, all that stuff. We got through that, then we'll cycle ignition on and off, and I heard my fuel pump running, that means everything should be good. Now we're gonna check for spark plug, and if it's throwing spark, then we're gonna add fuel, turn the ignition on and off, see when it primes, and hopefully no fuel leaks. It's very important, we're gonna have a fire extinguisher on standby, and then we're gonna start the engines. Let's go. So Alex is gonna try to get in. I'm gonna have to redo these door bars. They're so high, so uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, so when I ask you, you're gonna have to press that button to crank the engine. I'm gonna check for a spark plug. I mean, for spark. Go ahead. something clicking but there was no spark I heard uh, injectors firing I think let's try again Let's see on that screen, there's another option for ignition. Let's see what can we do there. Let's see if we can put some fuel in there. And we are filling this thing up for the first time. But, wait, you can't start an engine without gas or like you can't spin it, can you? I can rotate. You cannot, you shouldn't do it without oil. Is something leaking? Can somebody check for leaks? Guys, look under, look under. Yeah, no, it was leaking from here, from the gas can itself. Hey, you can record it. So, this is the fire extinguisher. Are you recording? Yeah. Just in case. Oh, I think this is the nozzle, but it should still work. Anyway. I'll hold it. Um, we'll have it on the standby. Right here. Um, Alex, can you turn the red switch on? Is drinking gas. I just heard fuel pumping, turn it off and turn it back on again. Oh, I can hear gas leaking. And okay, you heard that? 
Guys, make sure you hold, step stand. Back, everybody step, step back. back and um, if anything, grab the fire extinguisher and go. <laughs> no, it won't blow up. Um, all right, let me start it for the first time. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. Are you ready? Uh, let's see, I don't know if it's going to spark or not. I did everything with the ECU that it asked me to do, so it should be there. But uh, when I check for spark, maybe the spark is also, I don't know. Hey, okay. don't, don't attempt to do anything, okay? If anything, I'm going to do it. You guys stay back, please. Stand back, now. Okay, so we don't have any There's smoke coming out. Where? From the throttle area. What if while you're that thing? Yeah, I'm gonna do some more uh, setting changes because right now my map says I need too much pressure. everywhere so hopefully that's gonna work let's see As install a fuel pressure gauge over here to make sure we have enough fuel pressure creating that goes into the fuel rail which I did here it's cycling but it probably goes right back to return without opening the injectors we need a certain amount of pressure before injectors will open up so I'm gonna install this here and we'll adjust the pressure make sure it's actually opening those things up that's what we're gonna do right now So while it was pumping, it was good. Now it's falling back. Can somebody crank? The somebody engine? crank the engine. Just from there, you can reach. Press the button to crank. Are those brand new ones? The spark plugs are new. Do it again, Jaden. What's happened? No, I'm just 
just trying to see if there's any fuel coming out. Uh, so I can see injectors firing. They should. Injectors should fire. Because fuel is pumping. Jaden, get out. Let me go in there and try to. Um, can I say something? The right thing again. says stop. I know. So we just figured it out and one of the kids just called it that we're gonna miss the very first startup But it wasn't really a startup. We just wanted to check if I have spark and we do have spark and Jacob was Officially the first one who fired it up. So let's uh, clear it up So I had this ground cables connected to a wrong spot to a valve cover which has a rubber that didn't have a ground obviously so Go figure first time doing it. So now I put those ground wires onto the head cylinder cylinder heads and we have ground and obviously it was able to fire injectors, power plug and everything. So one of the cylinders still out, we're gonna put this back in and we're gonna fire for another uh, couple seconds because it has no water in it still and no power steering fluid. So unless we can find some wire and we're gonna start it back up and have some fun. Wait a second. And round two, actually round one. The first one was just to check the spark, but now we're actually, right. now we're actually gonna try to start it. So. Go ahead, ignition on, hold on, let me see how you switch those panels, flip, flip, oh, oh, turn it back off, I got a cutoff switch right here, and it's working, <laughs> now, everybody step away from the vehicle, send it. No, we have to put an exhaust on it. Yeah? Yeah, would be uh, I gotta check the oil pressure and then uh, maybe rev it once. I know. The, the other tenant's still not here, so record me. Can you hold the camera? I did put the Wait, what does the second one do? This is like just key in, this is ignition on actually. Oh, okay. So, I want to see oil pressure. Uh, nope, back, on, back, gauge, gauge one. So, line pressure, look up, fuel, RPMs, line temp, let's get it. Gear for PM. <laughs> Oil pressure right here. Oil pressure. Is that PC. good? It's not. Core uh, prior. It's not correct, but let's see. Then, then, then. What? 